Hi, hopefully this will be the, the first of a few different videos to show you how to use some of my files. So this one is the turtle done in the new watercolour pens that Cricut have brought out. They come in just a very basic set, you just get a few basic colours. Um, but I've done this one using those pens. Um, but it's important for the outline, you can either do it in the foil, which looks amazing, or if you're going to do it just in a pen, make sure to use a waterproof one. So this one I've used, it says it's water and fade proof pigment ink. Um, but I, that was done in the 0.5 pen, that's the exact one I used. And I found doing it in the pen holder from the 3D fun prints, I think that's the right name for it. I'll um, maybe pop a, a link in the in the bottom but it fit, fitted in that absolutely perfect very simple oops there she goes you pop it in pop a little spacer on do the nut up and then pop that off and then that's ready to go back into the machine now they do say if you use non cricket stuff it voids your warranty but I don't see how this would actually affect it because it it literally just goes in the pen holder exactly the same as you would drop a pen in the end of it just drops in or oh, the, the holder is actually in the machine but the same way that you drop that into the pen holder that comes with the machine you take the pen holder out and then you just pop that in and then that draws away perfect it was just just the job just pop that away Okay, so I don't know whether you've already done watercolour painting before. I've already I've done quite a bit in the past. So, but there's a few principles that you have to keep in mind. So, with watercolour, they say your white is basically your paper. You can never bring white back into it again. So, once you lose that white, there's no getting it back. So, what I tend to do is work from the lightest to the darkest. Now I'm going to start with the head first and I make sure I completely keep away from these eyes because I don't want this brown and the black leaking into anything else. So to start off with I give your pen a little bit of a squeeze to get the water going and I always keep a little cloth at the side just make sure yep there she goes and then you've got your cloth and you can keep your pen. So I always go on the white areas first and then bring the colour into the white area by then going over the colour and you'll find it will just spill out to it. Every time you move on to a new bit just clean the pen the, the brush out. So on this I've done the white now I'll just touch off onto that orange and then that'll carry on leaking away. I tend to rotate around as I go so that my hand doesn't touch off anything I've already done. Again, then into the orange and then leave that just to leak away and you'll find it will just soften. Then put in the white, white around the eyes. the white around the very outside first and then start going into the colour if you feel you've got enough too much pen just give it a wipe on the cloth every so often what you'll find is it'll just carry on leaking Up if you need to. Work around all the areas. You can see I do tend to clean my brush quite a quite a lot. See that green leak in there. Just leaks into the area. Of 
all the colour the direction you want it to be. Don't forget if you accidentally go into the white area you don't want it on, basically that white is now lost. You won't ever get that white back. So I'm going carefully around those nostrils because I want them to stay white so that they stand out. The paint will only go anywhere there is water. So if you don't go out of the lines, then your paint, your pen, also won't go out of the lines. If you do go out of the lines, you can clean your brush really well and try to pick it up, but you will always leave a little bit of something. Okay, so that's leaking away. Right, this hasn't leaked quite enough. I'll make sure there's no green left there at all. And I can bring that orange up a little bit now. Give him some little rosy cheeks. And if you think there's not enough, these Cricut pens don't leak as well, got spread as well as some of the other pens I've used. You can always pick up this and just dab it in. Your orange is there as your guide. You can, there's nothing to stop you adding a few bits more. So just pick it up on your brush and just dab, dab, dab. There you go. Nice, nice rosy cheeks. The thing with watercolour, it's not meant to look 100% perfect. That's what printers are for. Watercolour. It's got a little bit of a mind of its own, so you never quite know what you're going to get. So there's his cute little face. I'm just going to do the orange that I've got on his little eyes. His eyelids there, he's got a bit of orange eyeshadow on, I think. But again, making sure you don't touch off that black or brown yet. We'll come back to do the eyes right at the end. When that's completely dry. Okay, so we can start working down. I'll just make sure I'm still in the camera. Yep. Okay, so the neck you can pretty much because those those two colours are gonna blend really well. There's only certain colours you can put together. You want to put colours if you're gonna change the colours around, make sure you do a test first. That you don't put colours together that when they mix they become muddy. So these I pretty much want to fill the area so I'm not doing necessarily the white first on some of these ones. So you literally just let the the, water, the, the brush, I'm not squeezing it at all, it just naturally filters down. So I work an area at a time, so I've done that area, I'm going to leave that middle bit for now and then I'm going to work down here and then you're less likely to get any leaks between. You don't want that orange and the green mixing really because they will, they will go muddy. So just spreading a little bit across the belly. And the yellow doesn't tend to blend that much on this particular pen set. So there's some other off-brand watercolour pens I'll show you at the end that I've used that I've found that do leak, do spread just a little bit better. So but I think you've got enough colour there. You don't want too much colour. Keeping a bit of white is what gives gives him a little bit of volume, gives him a little bit of a pudgy belly. So just gently working. Just make sure you've got enough time to finish the project when you start it. Because watercolour isn't a medium that likes you to do a little bit and then come back later. Having the dark colour on the outside has made him look like his little belly is popping out. Okay, so I think we'll do his feet next. So again, leaving that area, leaving this area so they don't leak together. And 
again going for the lighter areas first on this because you're mixing the two colours together. Pull in the yellow and then I'll let the orange leak in and it just gives a highlight. And sometimes it looks like nothing's happening. Once there's a bit of moisture on that paper, then that ink will carry on, carry on dispersing until that paper dries out. And less is more as far as adding the water is concerned, otherwise you'll end up with a big, big puddle and everything will just merge into one and there'll be no definition. But the key is definitely keep keep that, that tip of your pen, tip of your brush clean. Keep make it a habit just to keep wiping and keeping it clean. Now this little turtle is sold quite well actually. So and I haven't had anyone come back saying they've had any problems with him, which is good news. Cat hairs get that out of the way. So I have quite a few other ones. I've got a seahorse that's coming ne coming next. I finished him up, but I was waiting for to make sure I got lots of good feedback from my turtle, and everyone seems to love him. And they're saying give us more. So I thought, well, we'll keep a sea sea theme going on to start with. So. wasn't sure whether maybe I'll do a whale maybe a little relieving thing you know the whale of a time in your new job or ideas going around my head so I've got the seahorse and he's hanging on to a bit of seaweed so hanging there will be one of the sentiments for him my turtle was a bit of a, a lovey one they were all lovey ones because of the hearts all the sentiments so we've got what do we have we had this one you're turtly awesome I turtly love you it's really really corny I like nice corny sentiments okay so the neck will have dried out a bit now so we can go back in and do the around this isn't leaking water quite as much as I like I'm a bit true so I'm just going to do the hand first because I don't want that orange and that green mixing again. I want to kind of keep that separate. Okay so I want this to blend quite well because it's almost like a flesh tone we're trying to create and a flesh you kind of think of it as pink but it's not. It's a very pale orange. We're doing it in paint so hence the reason we kept to the orange. So he's holding a little heart and that was is going to be the card that goes at the back. Let me see if I get something orange, something red there. So he's got a little heart. So that'll be the card coming through. Okay, so I'll do maybe his bottom next. Again, do the light tones first, working from the middle, work it to the outside. And then you're more likely to be able to stay in the lines. And the orange from the middle again to the outside. And I've tried to do the lines rather than just lots of straight lines. So if the lines are still seen, at least they're, they're a little bit decorative. Little swirls and twirls. Okay, where should we go now? Should we go back up to his arms? Now, because we've been doing a lot of orange, really make sure you've got that orange off because orange and green doesn't make the nicest colour. Okay. Probably put a bit too much water on that, I've gone a bit bonkers. Do the should have a bit of tissue. Ah it's gone on his on his hand. There you go. Mm. I'll have to just use that muppet a bit. There you go, accident of the day. Happens to us all. Okay, so we've lost that hand a little bit. I might just bring a little bit of orange back off the tin. Let's 
Ki van nincs, ne? Gone a bit too bright now, but there you go. Okay, yeah, we'll carry on. So you can see what I mean about the orange and the the green mixing. But you, you, you have, if you make a mistake, you've got to be really quick. Just go in. And to be honest, that will bug the daylights out of me. But to anyone who was receiving this. It's good to have, keep a bit of tissue next to you, and we haven't got any tissue handy. So that's leaked out there a little bit. Just go in with a really clean brush. And when we get the white space back, we can just blend it a little bit. And like I say, watercolour is a bit of a, a bit of a law unto itself, to be truthful. You never know what you're going to end up with. hand rescued fairly well maybe just a little bit darker than I would have liked but. okay it's just his legs to go now I'm just seeing a bit too much of a white line on his face there so I'm just going to go back in pull that yellow down just to that line that edge a little bit more that's it I love his little cheeks so cute. Okay, so just the legs and then the scary part is the eyes because we're working with black. And watercolour, there is actually no black colour that you're supposed to use. So these watercolour pens are breaking the rules a little bit, which means you have to be ultra, ultra careful. Although I must admit, the black that came with the Cricut ones, I was quite impressed with it because anyone who actually knows watercolour painting when you, if you've worked with watercolours before and you understand the colours when you actually do the, the black one, it is actually Payne's grey if that means anything to anybody so instead of being just a, a black that's like a murky black it looks like a, a blue tone to it so it is actually a nice one and I didn't find that in any of the other brands that I bought they did they were, were literally just black and a bit a bit murky looking they weren't the, the best so I'd certainly recommend even if you want to use the other ones for different colors stick to the black that comes with the Cricut set it really is a nice one okay so that's his legs done Okay, so I think that's all. If you want to go back in watercolour, you can go back in and give it a bit more of a blend. I think that's okay. Right, so the eyes. No, it's the scary bit. I will do, I think, sorry I knocked the camera then, didn't I, in my head. I'm trying to reach in to see. I'll go with the brown around the outside. Now you can change the, the outside colour to whatever colour eyes you want him to be. So I've just done my... brown eyes and I'm going to go quiet just because I'm concentrating just do that. you don't want a, it to fill in a hundred percent because you'd naturally get lights and dark shadows when light hits off anything anyway so if it doesn't go all the way to the edge then that's good because that's what gives dimension a little bit of the colour around like that and we'll leave it so we've got the white on the top so it gives the effect of light reflection and then the black just be really careful pulling it just go in and just please it very gently because the last thing you want is black going everywhere so make sure you keep your brush nice and clean brush that comes in the Cricut set is actually quite nice. You get quite fine detail with it. I've tried a few different ones. I've got some Derwent ones which should be absolutely amazing but the, the bristles on them are just a bit too soft. 
So let me go to try and do detail. I just can't get in with them. Can't I just can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. But his eyes if I go a bit closer, his eyes it goes a nice grey colour. So there he is. Nice and close up. So the idea of us doing the the light going to the dark on the outside, anything that's light tends to look like it's closer to you. The darker colours on the outside look like it's going away, so it gives him a nice little chubby belly. So I didn't get all I've got is a I've got something to put at the back just to show the little boxes my daughter's making up just to show the um, the cutout. Now when you put a card in, obviously, actually, shall I go and get one? Bear with me two seconds. Here's one I didn't prepare earlier. This is a turtle I did with a different make of pens. This one, you can see the colour blend, actually do your side by side comparison, can't I, before I take it out. My machine wasn't set up quite right, so it's cut off a little bit and um, calibrated it. So this one, is with the Cricut pens and this one which blended a heck of a lot nicer but I kind of like the lines left by the, the Cricut pens because it just gives it a bit of shape but that was done with this pen set I just got them off Amazon but they come in quite a range of colours so the ones I've put them down this end those are the ones that are pretty much the same colours as the Cricut pens but then you do get all the others and I also got some for oh are those the Joy ones? oh those were the ones for the Cricut Joy these were the ones these were the ones that are actually the best best ones real like those are the ones I put in the um, Cricut Maker again they've got the same colours that come in the Cricut but a lot more so these were the this one real like were the very best at blending the next best at blending were these ones which i bought for the Cricut joy they specifically fit in the joy not the other machine and then we've got that one so, sorry is this video going on a little bit too long i wasn't really sure how much info to give okay so i just to make my watercolour card go a little bit further, I, I haven't actually done it as a card on this one. I just did the, um, the square cut out. So just pop that in. You can see they just pop in. And I've done the corners so they follow the same theme as the heart. Same as on the elephant pile. Okay, so there it is popped in. So you get to see. Oh, you see his little heart that he's holding. So hope that was helpful and hopefully this will be the first of many videos. Catch you soon guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.